Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics back with another video tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to share some useful techniques for creating a vintage style engraved text effect just like the illustrations you see on paper money or banknotes. By applying transformations and effects using Illustrator's appearance panel, we can preserve the live text rather than have to first outline the text into shapes, which means it then can't be edited. Using the same technique, you can combine various colours and effects to create a variety of retro and vintage text effects, just like my free download of retro text effect graphic styles for Adobe Illustrator on Spoon Graphics. To create the engraved money style text effect, set up a new document in Adobe Illustrator. Since this is a digital artwork, set the units of measurements to pixels and the colour mode to RGB. Use the type tool to set out the wording for your effect. The font named Mandrone from the Adobe Fonts Library looks just like the iconic lettering style on dollar bills. Click the link in the description to activate this font. Before creating the effect, quickly draw a couple of squares to set out the colours we're going to be using. Saving the colours as custom swatches would probably be easier, but this is an old habit of mine. The first colour I picked out is 30342A. Alt and drag the square with the move tool to create a duplicate and change its fill to CF CC B6. Select the text and clear out its default black fill. Open the appearance panel. I keep mine at the bottom right of my interface layout, but you can find it under the window menu. From the corner menu icon, choose add new fill. Use the eyedropper tool to select the darker of the two colours we set, or click the custom swatch if you use that method. Add another fill using the appearance panel, this time choose the lighter colour. Select the first fill in the appearance panel and click the FX icon at the bottom of the panel. Choose path and offset path. Enter a value of around 5 pixels to add a border effect around the text. Add another effect, this time choose transform. In the transform effect settings, enter 1 pixel in the horizontal and vertical move options. Then add 20 copies to generate a faux 3D effect. Add another new fill, then drag it to the top of the appearance panel so it sits on top of the lighter colour. In the swatches panel, click the corner menu icon and choose Open Swatch Library, Patterns, Basic Graphics and Lines. Find a ready-made swatch with a nice density of evenly spaced lines. Make sure the fill is still selected, then go to Effects, Path and Offset Path. Enter a minus figure this time to leave a gap around the edge of the lines. Add a transform effect too, but this time enter 45 degrees in the rotate angle. To make the rotation only affect the lines pattern and not the text outline, uncheck the transform object setting. You can then fine tune the angle to find a value that runs parallel to the outline of the letter shapes. What's particularly useful about this technique of creating text effects with the appearance panel is it retains the live type, meaning you can still edit the wording. This effect can also be saved as a graphic style, so it can be easily applied to other objects with a single click. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel, and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.